Yeah, I think I, from a young age, had a pretty uh, vivid picture of God as kind of the big guy in the sky, kind of, you know, he's up there, he's kind of distant. Because we never went to church growing up at all. We went one time, you know, and on Easter, my dad made fun of the songs and sang like he was an opera singer. I used to think of the Bible, I used to think of it as like the book to keep me from having fun. I saw the stars tonight. I was about 13 years old when um, my brother drowned. I think that was definitely a point in my life where I wanted to give up and didn't know how, how to make sense of this life or the world or the reality of the pain that we live in. And because it, it's torture sometimes to always be thinking of that and always be frustrated that the world is this messed up and this unjust. Because I just didn't know, like, I didn't know how to go there. I didn't know how to talk about pain like that. Um, and I don't even think I knew how to feel it. All of a sudden, is there a God became a looming issue. I saw a grain of sand. Woke up one night in particular in my room was just trashed and my fist was all bloody and, and I just thought, you know, I'm going to AA or I'm going to church. For 90 minutes, Ron listened to me pour out the filth of my life. I remember seeing a vision of myself, and it wasn't a, you know, a visual thing, but I, there was a vision of myself as blind and wretched and naked, and I remember just weeping. It's those times when you realize how, um, how broken you've been only because you see it healed and you didn't realize like, how much room it took up in your spirit. You know, God's solution to fix the human race is, okay, the human race is broken. You know, I just can't fix this. This is going to require starting all over again, so to speak, making people different, making them new. If I could have my way, I would like to be a new person. And I thought that was a naive request. I don't know, we use, we use these words mystery and the grace and being pursued by God, but I think it's just that simple. And it's this invitation to go, the whole world goes this way, and if you follow me, you're going to have to walk this way. So I literally just prayed and said, I, I, it's a deal, I'm yours, I, I don't know what you have in mind. But here I come, ready or not, I'm yours. And everything just kind of got rocked and transformed. And I uh, realized this, is, this isn't just about a program. Like, this is something different. It was God who was coming after me and pursuing me and not about me trying to make sense of Him. But the people who, who know Christ, who, who Christ is real in their life and, and they're changing their life, He's changing their life, they're following after Him and they're becoming like Him. And the way that they treat people, the way that they help people, is like he is. That's the meaning of life right there. It's like my life is meant to be live for him, whatever that looks like.